So Ozone's philosophy is always to make good, safe gliders for all pilots. So HPP stands for High Performance Paraglider. I started with um, Luke about two years ago and um, with um, a crazy idea. My dream was uh, a very performance, something crazy like uh, 30 point in glide ratio and uh, aspect ratio of 40 with only one line. From just uh, an idea that which was on paper, we tried to, uh, to, to make it real. So we, uh, we sat down together, looked at that for a few days and went through all the different specs and tried to keep the original ideas but uh, trying to, to make it uh, flyable. So after lots of work on the, 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 the crazy high aspect ratio, which was an 11 to 1 um, HPP, and uh, various other prototypes, we uh, then uh, made the BB HPP. The BB HPP is uh, just a normal part lighter, but uh, as we have to cope with only two lines for holding the wall profile, we need to, to work on, uh, on a way to hold the kind of compression in the top surface, so uh, that's where the carbon arrived. This is a piece of carbon from the baby HPP. It runs the cordwise in the wing, which is from the front to the back, not spanwise. And uh, we have one of these pieces for each cell. And in total, we have about 150 grams of carbon. It's very light, it's very flexible, uh, very easy. If one does break, they're very easy to replace. And if, even if one does break, or even if a few break, the glider will still fly totally normally as well. People think uh, the BBHPP is not a paraglider, but it is actually just a paraglider. Just uh, as simple as um, fitting in a normal rucksack and um, just simple to just lay down, pull the tips, pull the lines and, uh, and fly and steer the wings with the, with the brake handles, pull the accelerator, land as normal, pack just just as well and maybe even quicker than a normal glider and it just doesn't require anything different it's just a glider, paraglider and the only difference is uh, performance Et uh, en termes de vitesse, on a gagné énormément en stabilité, en solidité et en sécurité et uh, je pense que c'est l'avenir It was very exciting to see how I can glide through my usual uh, place and arrive very much higher than I thought. The lessons we learn from this construction of these wings, we can directly translate to the lower level wings. We've taken it a step further this time with the baby and a new form of construction and hopefully in the future we'll be able to filter this down to safer, easier, lighter, more performant wings for everybody. What we learned from the BBHPP will um, we'll be um, going down into production wings just like um, the Delta new one coming and um, hopefully the, the, the R10 which is also coming very soon. After we flew the, the BBHPP all, all spring and summer as, um, and after all the, these good results that's when we realized it was very possible for, for Charles and Russ to go uh, for the PwC final in, in Italy. We took it to the super final in Italy with Charles and myself and we rocked. We took first and second place and to be honest, it was quite easy with a glider like this. Of the president of the World Cup Association, Mr. Goran Dimiskowski, the Paragliding World Cup Super Final Trophy to Sarkato! The first ever PWCA World Champion, Sarkato! Alors je dispose actuellement d'une voile qui est exceptionnelle, c'est une voile en deux lignes avec seulement de, les A et les B qui a été développée par Ozone et Luc Armand, David Dago également. Cette voile est, euh, dispose de performances exceptionnelles et c'est ça qui, vraiment qui m'a permis de faire la différence cette semaine.